Welcome back everyone to Mango Chess. Today we're going to be covering a epic, an epic historical game between Sir George Allen Thomas and Edward Lasker. Now the uh, setting is London 1912. Let's get right into it. The nickname of this uh, game is Fatal Attraction because of what happens in the game. Well, this is going to be fun. Let's get right into it. D4, E6, and now we have uh, Knight F3 just developing a piece. And now F5, this transposed into a Dutch defense. There are many ways to play a Dutch defense, one being a Fianchetto and Knight F6 castles. Or you can go for a Stonewall with D4 and C6. The only drawback of that is your light square bishop is a bit stuck. Okay, so F5. Knight c3, knight f6. Now both players are just developing very, very calmly. And now we have a very aggressive move from white, bishop g5, pinning this knight to the queen, and now setting up a very important pawn push, e4, because after takes, now you have knight takes. This knight is under severe pressure. That is not good. So black deals with that problem by playing bishop e7, but now white allows... Uh, white takes, takes, and now e4. This is the whole plan that they were trying to go for. e4, takes, takes, and now b6, trying to develop the light square bishop on this very, very strong diagonal. And now we have knight e5, trying to set up a tactic here. See if you can find it. It's with the queen. Right. It's queen h5 check, because if black just you know, give the turn over, check, here, takes, takes, here, and you're simply winning this bishop, black will be under severe pressure from these two pieces, and in danger of getting checkmated, sorry, so that's not, that's not good, okay, but what happened in the game was castles, okay, that deals with the problem, but now, um, white just develops a piece calmly getting ready to castle in the future lining up um, something over there and now bishop b7 but now white plays an extremely aggressive move queen h5 threatening check here takes because the bishop was lined up there before the king has to move there, only square. And now here, here, and white is under, so black is under severe pressure after here, and you will be winning a lot of pieces. Okay, so queen h5. Now queen e7 deals with the problem because after here, here, the queen is defending this square and your knights being attacked there is no more um, no more teaming up with this battery but what what black missed was that this move locks in the win for white see if you can find it all the pieces are right here ready to be activated we just need a move to destroy the king can you find it in this position the move that edward lasker played in this position was queen takes h7 check queen sacrifice to give double check with knight and the bishop and now king h6 Knight g4 check, king g5 only move, and now begins the fatal attraction. h4 check, king f4, g3 check, only move, king f3, bishop e2 check, I mean look at this king dude, it went all the way from here. To here and now it has to go here and rook 
H2 check. King G1. And now you are a move away from mate. King D2. Or even the gangster long castles here would be checkmate. And Edward Lasker finishes off in style. King D2. Checkmate. Checkmate with a king move. When have you ever seen something like that? And the funny thing is, all the way back here, when Queen E7 was played, it is dead lost because everything is forced. There is no way out of this. These checks are unavoidable. Everything here on out is going to be checks, checks, and checkmate. The king wandered into the wrong territory, went all the way from here, went boop, 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 and boop, boop, and mate. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I did. Let me know if you guys want any more of these. Send in some games. I don't really care. And that's about it for this uh, video. I'll see you guys in the next one.